Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill. And no, this is not a review. This is my top 10 scariest figures here in October 31st. And not just any top 10. My scariest Transformers I own in the collection. At number one, we got none other than Ejector. Look at that face. He is literally a monstrous Decepticon toaster. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry about that. I hit the tripod a little bit. And yeah, he's a scary-looking toaster Decepticon. He's number one on my top ten this year. Scariest Transformers you'll ever see. Because look at that face and those legs. He is, like, gruesome. He definitely makes my scariest figure on Halloween, for sure. Next on the list, we got the Energonic Igniter Bumblebee Megatron. And the way he looks, he's always looked this terrifying. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Next, we got Rescue Rescue Got Bots or Classic Heroes Grimlock. He's still pretty scary in his classic T Rex mode. Transform him is very simple. There we go. His head mode is still pretty cool. cool. His shoulders are scary. De definitely, he's number three on my top ten scariest figures. My next top ten scariest figure would have to go to number four slot. This is Cyberverse Repugnus, and look at him! His face is like something out of a nightmare, this monster bot style figure. Love that I have him. And next would be the Dragon Bot Predaking. His face was always gruesome, along with his dragon mode. So he is number five on my top ten scariest figures. Look at him. He is the definition of gruesome. And number five, now we're on to number six of our top ten scariest figures, and this is Steeljaw. Given he's not a werewolf, but he's still pretty terrifying with that mug face of his. He's definitely something that screams out Halloween every year. 2015 Decepticon. And next, we got this VTech Dino. Look at that, his face is horrifying. Why he's at number... Seven on my top ten scariest figures. It looks pretty gruesome looking with that face. Next on number eight of my top ten scariest figures, it'd have to go to Mind Wipe. His beast mode face for his robot mode. His beast mode is absolutely terrifying. And he could easily pose as a vampire. Look at him. He is just the definition of gruesome. Next on the list at number nine would have to go to Skull Cruncher. His alligator face, look at that face underneath his robot mode. That is gruesome. Even his mug is gruesome. That face is darn right gruesome. And that's why he's number nine on my top ten scariest figures. Because he is scary looking. I will give it to him. And finally at number ten... On my top ten scariest figures would have to go to the Chaos Bringer himself. This is the Cybertron Unicron. And look at that face. That face is like out of a nightmare. <laughs> That's why he's number ten on my top ten scariest figures every year. Because that face, oh man, that Chaos Bringer's face is more gruesome than the 86 gr Unicron. Why he's top ten. Hands down. And this has been my top 10 scariest figures here in 2024 on October. Ugh, sorry. Ugh, I couldn't hold that sneeze any longer. And yeah, I enjoy doing my top 10 scariest figures every year here on YouTube. So since it's Transformers Week, we did a top 10 scariest Transformers figures we own. Do I highly recommend you pick up any of these guys? Yes, they are a lot of fun. If you can find them for a good price, pick them up. They are worth the money, and I'm so glad that I own them in my collection now. Because they are a lot of fun to mess around with and look great. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.